and a very blessed Good Friday evening to you all. And welcome to Mary's Way of the Cross. Of course, we know there was no one who was closer to Jesus Christ more than the Blessed Virgin, Mother, the blessed Virgin Mary. Not only being the mother of Jesus Christ, but there was no more perfect disciple and follower of Jesus Christ than the Blessed Virgin Mary who first conceived her Savior, our Savior, in her heart, and then conceived Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in her womb. And so, as we cultivate the desire to draw closer to Jesus Christ, how better to do so than by magnifying our devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, because the primary purpose of Mary is to draw us closer and closer to Jesus. I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me as you say. Those words, some of the very few that Mary speaks in Scripture, set in motion the process of our redemption. Those words also opened for Mary a life which she could never have imagined, one which must have been certainly blessed with happiness as well as great sorrow. Simeon told Mary at the very beginning of her child's life that a of sorrow would pierce her heart. With so little written about Mary in Scripture, one can only wonder about these joys and sorrows. What was it like for the one person who was perhaps closer to Jesus than anyone else as she daily came to understand her son's life? What can we learn from her experience of this process of redemption? This journey attempts to enkindle within us a sense of both innocence and grateful redemption as it lets us walk with Jesus on his last steps with his mother. To feel with her the sword of sorrow, the confusion, the feelings of helplessness, as well as her ever-present faith, will hopefully lead us to a personal experience of redemption one which may bring about conversion where it is needed. Hence, the second part of each station is designed to point out a particular way of rooting out of one's life those areas which one has not yet allowed redemption to touch. Mary stood by her son throughout his passion and in her faith, experienced the joy of his resurrection, this journey allows us to do the same in hope, that we will, with Mary's assistance, deepen our faith and us to rise once more in our lives. Jesus, Lord, kind and defile, may we to be meek and mild, as we tread your Jesus is condemned to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was early Friday morning that I saw my son. That was the habit of things since they took him away. His bruised and bleeding skin sent a sword of pain deep into my heart and tears down my cheeks. Then Pilate, from his chair of judgment, asked the crowd why they wanted my son executed. All around me they shouted, crucify him. I wanted to plead with them to stop, but I knew this had to be. So I stood by and cried silently. Lord Jesus, it is hard for me to imagine the anguish your mother felt at your condemnation. But what about today, when I hold a grudge? Crucify him. When I judge others, crucify him. Doesn't this bring tears of anguish to both you and your mother? Forgive me, Jesus. Now the cross has Jesus for it, as he
Second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, I beg you to forgive me for the many times I have added more weight to your cross by closing my eyes to the pain and loneliness of my neighbor. Forgive me for gossiping about others and for always trying to find excuses to avoid certain people who wish to talk with me. Help me to be like Mary, always seeking to lighten the crosses of others. Forgive me, Jesus. We can Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. I followed close behind my son as he stumbled toward Calvary. Nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in such pain. I saw the cross digging into his shoulders. My heart dropped when I saw him fall face to the ground. The heavy cross landing squarely on his back. For a moment, I thought my beloved son was dead. Now, my whole body began to tremble. Then the guards kicked him. He rose slowly and began to walk again, yet they still whipped him. I wanted to protect him with my own body, but I knew this had to be. So I walked on and wept silently. Lord, how often have I seen you fall? And unlike Mary, have left you there without concern. People make mistakes and laughed at them. How often do I find myself getting angry when someone does things differently than I? Mary offered you her support through your entire passion. Help me to do the same for you by the support I give to others. Lord, have mercy on me. Jesus met his grieving mother, she who made the Lord her brother. Now the sword her heart has pierced. The fourth station. Jesus meets his grieving mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I had managed to break through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. Our eyes met. Mine full of tears of anguish, his full of pain and confusion. I felt helpless. Jesus, forgive me the many times our eyes met and I turned mine away. Forgive me the times things did not go my way and I let everyone know about it. Forgive me that over little inconveniences or became discouraged and did not heed your call to courage. Yes, Lord, our eyes have met many times, but fruitlessly. Silence of him has
fifth station. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I could now see almost complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load. Each step looked as if it would be his last. I felt every pain in my heart, and I wanted the whole thing to end. Then I noticed some commotion near Jesus. He stood full of protesting man from the crowd. They forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load. He asked the guards why this had to be. I knew, and so followed silently. Lord Jesus, I have many times refused to help you. I have been a selfish person who has often questioned your word. Don't let me remain like Simon, but help me to be like your mother Mary, who always silently followed and obeyed. So many opportunities arise every day for me to give to you by giving to others, but I pass them by. My Savior, never let me ask why again, but help me to give all I have to you. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again my son fell, and again my grief was overwhelming at the thought that he might die. I started to move toward him, but the soldiers prevented me. He rose and stumbled ahead slowly. Seeing my son fall, get up again, and continue on was bitter anguish to me. But since I knew this had to be on silently. Lord, of all people, Mary was your most faithful follower, never stopping in spite of all the pain she felt for you. I have many times turned away from you by my sins and have caused others to turn away from you. I beg you, to have mercy on me. May our sympathy for Jesus turn to those who hear now need us. May we see Christ through in The eighth station. Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I was walking a few steps behind Jesus when I saw him stop. Some women were there crying for him and pitying him. He told them not to shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. Like many others, they rejected him instead. He told them to shed tears for Years that would bring their conversion. They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did, and as he walked on, I followed silently. 
my Savior. Many times I have acted like these women, always seeing the faults of others and pitying them. Yet very rarely have I seen my own sinfulness and asked your pardon. You have taught me through these women. Forgive me, Lord, for my blindness. Jesus, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This fall of Jesus was agony to me. Not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again, but now he was almost at the top of the hill of crucifixion. The soldiers screamed at him and abused him, almost dragging him the last few steps. My heart pounded as, I, pounded as I imagined what they would do to him next. But I knew this had to be, so I climbed the hill silently behind him. My loving Jesus, many times I have offered my hand to help people, but when it became inconvenient or painful to me, I left them, making excuses for myself. Help me, Lord to be like your mother Mary, and never take my supporting hand away from those who need it. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. With my son finally relieved of the weight of the cross, I thought he would have a chance to rest. But the guards immediately started to rip his clothes off his blood clotted skin. The sight of my son in such pain was unbearable. Yet, since I knew this had to be, I stood by and cried silently. Lord, in my own way, I too have stripped you. I have taken away the good name of another by foolish talk, and have stripped people of human dignity by my prejudice. Jesus, there are so many ways I have offended you through the hurt I have caused others. Help me to see you in all people. Here's the hands that bless and cured us. Here's the peace that walked to free us. Walks the hymn of Calvary. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they threw Jesus on the cross, myself to be there. As they punctured his hands and his feet, I felt the pain in my heart. Then they lifted up the cross. There he was, my son, whom I loved so much being scorned as he struggled for the last few moments of earthly life. But I knew this had to be, so I stood by and prayed silently. Lord, what pain you endured for me, and what pain your mother went through, seeing her only son die for love of me. Yet both you and she are ready to forgive me as soon as I repent of my sin. Help me, Lord, to turn away from my sinfulness. Life eternal death defiant, but he said the world was silent. Through his death came life anew. The 
12th station. Jesus dies on the cross. What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her son die right before her eyes? I, who brought this Savior in horror, stood helplessly beneath his cross as he lowered his head and died. His earthly anguish was finished, but mine was greater than ever. Yet this had to be, and I had to accept it. So I stood by and mourned. My Jesus, have mercy on me for what my sins have done to you and to others. I thank you for your great act of love. You have said that true love is laying down your life for your friends. Let me always be your friend. Teach me to live my life for others and not fail you again. Stand and shrink and Jesus is taken from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The crowd had gone, the noise had stopped. I stood quietly with one of Jesus' friends and looked up at the dead body of our Savior, my son. Then two men took the body from the cross and placed it in my arms. Deep sorrow engulfed my being, yet I also felt a deep joy. Life had ended cruelly for my son, but it had also brought life to all of us. I knew this had to be, and I prayed silently. Lord, your path, yet it still goes on whenever I choose sin over you. I have done my part in your crucifixion, and now my Savior. I beg your forgiveness with all my heart. Help me to live a life worthy of you and your mother. Jesus, Lord, your gift accepted. In three days you resurrected. You did first what we shall. Final station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ. We praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We brought Jesus' body to the tomb, and I arranged it there myself, silently weeping, silently rejoicing. I took one more look at my loving son, and then walked out. They closed the tomb, and before I left, thought, I knew this had to be. It had to be for you. I would wait in faith, silently. Yes, my Lord, this had to be because you love me, and for no other reason. All you ask is that I live a good life. You never said such a life would be easy. I'm willing to leave sin behind and live for you alone in my brothers and sisters.